Like the great Yogi Berra once said, you can observe a lot by watching. So apparently, there are rules, regulations, guidelines, and strict laws for owning and playing a Rickenbacker bass. This is my 4003. Let's start at the body. Made in America sticker. Push-pull sticker. Illegal. Get them the fuck off your base. You can't have them there. This pickup cover. You cannot, by law, play this base with this pickup cover on. It's against the law. Illegal. Huge fine for playing this base with this pickup cover on. Okay, on to the fun part. The Rickenbacker bridge and tailpiece. What a hunk of shit, huh? It's against the law to even attempt to intonate a Rickenbacker bass. Don't do it. Forbidden. It's also against the law to try and raise and lower the action. Against the law. It's illegal to touch anything on this bridge and tailpiece. Leave it alone. Strings. You can only, by law, again, use roto sound strings on a Rickenbacker bass. I just put a set of chromes on mine. Unfortunately, they don't work. They don't work on a Rickenbacker bass. Onto the neck. Two truss rods. Leave them the hell alone. You cannot, by law, Adjust the truss rods on a Rickenbacker base. It's forbidden. It's illegal. It's against the law. Don't go anywhere near this truss rod. What you can do with a Rickenbacker base is hang it on your wall or mantelpiece near the family photos. And one more thing. You must call it a Rickenbacker. That is the legal name. Rickenbacker.